a one-line command to copy a database from Tenant 1 to Tenant 2 on tonight's 11 o'clock news. I mean, Tales from the Field. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, welcome, my new friends. Give us a like and give us a subscribe. We got our first cool fronts, y'all, down here in the southeast of North America. And I can tell you what, it's a little bit chilly. One thing I'm not feeling the chill from, though, is you, the subscribers. Thank you so much for keeping us warm and cozy. For those of you that are new, we have content that we drop on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have our roundtable where we bring the light blogs and videos created by you, the MVPs of the data community for the data community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. Recently, a coworker and I were posed with this challenge. We needed to move a Azure SQL database from one subscription to another subscription. And we challenged ourselves: could we move it from one tenant to the other? And we found a way to do this and ensure that our database is transactionally consistent. You can see here in our documentation, a database copy is transactionally consistent snapshot of the source database as of the point of the time the copy request is initiated. So the next thing we need to do is we went through our documentation and this will be provided in the link of the description of the video. And we scrolled down and we kept looking for different ways to do this. And then we came across this little gem here within our documentation. We have this T-SQL that we can run we have this tip one that talks a little bit about Microsoft Entra and when we can use an Entra ID to move from one subscription to the other. But this other tip down here on the lower right hand side is the one we needed. When we're doing a database copy, we need to use a SQL login because we're moving from one tenant to another tenant and we can't use Entra for that. So we decided hey, this would be a cool little demo. We're going to have two environments, this one here in the East US. This is our SQL Server instance that has our Stack Overflow 2013 database. This is our source server. Then we're going to have our target server here. This is going to be in the central US. This is in a different tenant. So we have those two environments. Here in ADS, you can see I'm connected to tenant one sub one on the bottom there. And then on the top, I'm connected to tenant two sub two. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to create a login, a user, and we need to alter that role and add it to DB Manager. I've already created this with a strong password, and I've also created the login, copy login, here on our tenant one sub one within the master database. The next command we need to execute is to create user. We need to execute this within the DB of tenant one sub one. So we create the user for the login, copy login, we alter that role and we add it to the member of DBO. So we add it to the role of DB owner. All right, this is really important. We need to get the SID from the sys users from tenant one sub one. Go ahead and copy the SID. We're gonna need it for our next step. Once we've copied that SID, we're now gonna connect to tenant two sub two. We need to now create a login user and we need to alter the role for that login to DB Manager. Very important here, the SIDs and the logins need to match from tenant one to tenant two. That will make sure that we are able to authenticate from the one tenant to the other. So that's very important to make sure the login and the SID matches. Not having that matching SID and login is the most common reason that this copy database command is gonna fail. Onto the part we're here for. We have our create database command. You have our create database. There we're gonna plug in the target database name we want. As copy of, that's gonna be our source server name and database name. All right, we're gonna to connect to tenant two now. Connecting to tenant two, we're gonna execute this create database command. Let's go ahead and do that. Once we start that command, we can go ahead and we can start to monitor this. Over here in Azure Data Studio, you can see that the database has appeared. It's not quite done yet. We can check to see if it's done by going over and running this select from sys databases joining on DM database copies. This will show us the percent complete of the recovery or the copy in this case of the database, our consistent database copy. 
If we run it one more time, you're going to see here we have a percent complete woo of 100%. We'll run that one more time, and it will show that it's done. With this being completed, with the copy being completed, let's go to ADS, refresh here. You can see we have our tables. Let's go ahead and let's right mouse click there on comments, select top 1,000, and look at that. It returned data. With this knowledge, we can now create a transactionally consistent database or a copy of our database, say, for example, for our dev teams or our performance teams. And if they're sitting in another tenant, we can do that as well. We showed that here in this video. I want to note what's going on behind the scenes here with this copy command is it is essentially spinning up geo replication. It's geo replicating that database. And then when it's done, it removes the geo replication components that it deployed. Pretty neat little elegant solution, right? We can copy an Azure SQL database from one subscription to another subscription. More importantly, we proved out that we can move it using SQL logins from one tenant subscription to another tenant subscription, solving our problem, getting that database over there for our developers or even our performance team. All right, you know where we like to keep this going, down in the comments below, and as always, be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day, wake up.